Like many other developing nations, in India as well, we face the problems associated with the management of plastic waste. We can see plastic wastes are being dumped here and there and many a times even plastic wastes are found along the bank of the rivers. Open burning in the developing economies has not stopped during the pandemic even. Even though industries are non-functional, open burning has been still practiced all over the country. In my research group, we are dealing with several such contaminants which are released uh, from the burning of waste plastic or burning of municipal solid waste. And many of these contaminants are organic contaminants which are persistent and also have uh, the impact of endocrine disruption. What we look at is, we look into the multimedia movement of these chemicals in the environment and we try to find out how it can affect the human health. Uh, and in addition to this, we are also looking at various remediation techniques, most importantly the cost-effective remediation techniques for many of such uh, contaminants which are termed as EDCs or endocrine disrupting chemicals. There are several PhD research scholars, students and even visiting scholars from other institutes in India and also from other countries who are working with us in various projects. Uh, this Environmental Science and Technology Research Group is a part of Chemical Engineering Department uh, in SRM Institute of Science and Technology in Katang, Kulatur, Tamil Nadu, India. Considering the fact that Ganga is one among the top 10 plastic waste carrying rivers in the world, we have conducted an extensive surveillance along nearly 1700 kilometers of Ganges, covering the upper, middle and the lower stretches. In addition to the Ganges, we have also covered the Sundarban wetland, which uh, we hypothesized as a pristine site. And we have looked into the plastic additives in the surface water of River Ganga and in the rivers of Sundarban wetland. We have observed elevated levels of plastic additives such as thalic acid esters and bisphenol A in the industrial areas and the tourist spots along the bank of River Ganga. During this COVID-19 pandemic, uh, we were monitoring uh, the atmospheric concentrations of different organic contaminants, trying to understand what is happening during this pandemic phase. What we found was uh, the plastic load in the solid waste stream has drastically increased uh, due to the use of facial masks, gloves, etc. And we are seeing a definite characterization, uh, different kind of profiles which are rising due to the open burning of this kind of plastic uh, waste in the main solid waste stream. Since most of these chemicals are semi-volatile in nature, due to open burning, these chemicals can be released in the atmosphere. And after the monsoonal shower, due to atmospheric deposition, these chemicals can again end up in the river bodies. So basically, this COVID-19 pandemic has also impacted the quantum of plastic waste entering the solid waste stream especially in the developing economies where these rules are not so stringent so far, we have to look into this dimension. And a lot of this endocrine disrupting chemicals would be released along with the plastics. So the macroplastics, microplastics and this plastic related chemicals are something that needs serious attention after the heat of this COVID-19 pandemic. During this pandemic, we were in the fields, we were seeing this new set of problems and we are trying to work on these problems, trying to understand these problems under the India-Norway cooperation project on capacity building for reducing plastic and chemical pollution in India in Opol. This is an India-Norway marine pollution initiative funded by the Norwegian Embassy and our partners are Norwegian Institute for Water Research, the Energy Research Institute, New Delhi, Miyugama Consultants, Gurgaon, Sipet, Toxic Sling, SRM Institute of Science and Technology. I hope I could share this new findings that we have in terms of added plastic waste in the solid waste stream of India. Thank you very much.